Hey guys, so today I have another Iron Man 3 set, uh, another set that's not out yet. This is the Lego Marvel Super Heroes uh, Iron Man Extremis Seaport Battle, which is a lot to say, but it's a nice little $20 set. Uh, I picked this up on eBay for a little bit more just because they're not out yet. I got it for about uh, 30 so not too mad. Um, but it's a very, very cool set. Um, really starting to like the vehicle design that they're putting into these Marvel sets. A lot of the uh, cars and helicopters and now this boat are really, really nicely designed. Um, and we'll get into the minifigures first. Uh, and just to let you know, these extra bits, if you've seen any of the Iron Man figures before, you know that they have the little repulsors. I just had some spares, so I added them on, so you only get uh, one of each and one of each here. But it just makes him look like he's blasting off even more, but uh, I just decided to do that on my own. So you do only get the, the, the two blue pieces total. Um, but anyways, we have the uh, Mark 42 suit right here. This is the new, one of the new suits of armor in the uh, movie. Very, very nicely detailed. You can see uh, just a ton of color that they're adding into these figures. Very, very nice. Uh, gold detailing and even on the back and the legs they've really gone crazy and the hands are gold too which is very nice um, they're not the red that they were in the other sets so very very cool underneath here you do get Tony Stark's face of course and uh, it is double sided so you have his concerned face for this figure and then his kind of let's see if I can get this off there we go then his kind of normal like swagger face <laughs> as I like to call it very very nice and then the whole reason anyone buys this set at all is you get War Machine and I wish it was the Iron Patriot armor I really really wish it was uh, hopefully they will do an Iron Patriot minifigure but this one's just uh, fantastic it's very very nicely detailed uh, nice square um, reactor there instead of the uh, triangle or the circle one. Just a ton of nice detail. Uh, and he's got his little shoulder cannon, which works pretty well. I was afraid it was making his uh, neck look too tall, but I don't think it uh, it does. It, it's not too bad, or not as bad as I thought. Uh, and the, I think the only really downside to having this backpack cannon on is it covers up a lot of the nice detail that they have on the back as well. And then you get uh, Colonel Rhodes' face obviously up underneath. And he has two faces as well. So pretty awesome. And of course he has the uh, red repulsor blast. And I just put this little uh, red jewel piece on the cannon so it looks like it's firing. And you can have that shoulder cannon uh, sit on either side. It doesn't have to be there. Or not at all. You know, it's up to you. But War Machine figure is just super cool. Just super cool. Uh, and then you get over here, Dr. Killian, played by Guy Pierce in the movie. Uh, spoiler alert. Just saying, spoiler alert. If you don't want to hear anything, uh, turn your sound off real quick. I'll give you the thumbs up when it's good to go. Okay, so Dr. Killian uh, creates the extremist program uh, in the comics and in the movie. Obviously, I haven't seen the movie yet, but I can assume from the comics. Uh, in the comics, basically, the extremist program is like a nano technology infused with humans, so it basically makes a human have machine strength. That's kind of the, the easiest way to do it. In the movie, it looks like Dr. Killian's going to inject himself because he has his extremist angry face and in the comic these guys are very very powerful they're um, kinda like superhumans I'd say they're stronger physically than Captain America they can just kind of run faster jump farther move heavy objects but that has kind of a nasty side effect on their psyche and it makes them very uh, prone to anger and moral in judgment <laughs> or bad judgment I guess so, and the other cool thing about this guy, besides the double-headed, yeah, you can you can listen now. The other cool thing about this guy, besides the double-headed face, is actually a glow-in-the-dark face, and that's why it's so pale. 
You can't really, there's not really enough. You can see it's, it's trying to right now. There's not really enough light. I can try and get some, some light on there. You gotta hold this up to some light, obviously. And then let's see if we can get it to, there we go. You can see it's already trying. Pretty much, you get the idea. It will glow. Obviously I can't really film it in the dark, but you get the idea. And then you get this little buoy, which is pretty nice. Uh, it's supposed to explode if you push down. That didn't really work, did it? If you push down one of the sides, it blows up. Like that. There we go. Nice little buoy. The blue piece is obviously supposed to be the water, so this is just supposed to be floating around. And there's some stickers on there. And this boat itself is very, very cool. Uh, I really like the way it looks. Uh, unlike a lot of the, some of the Lego stuff they make, it actually looks like a boat. <laughs> it doesn't look too uh, fake or extreme or fantastical or anything like that. It looks very much like a speedboat, uh, including these little detail pieces that are supposed to be the outboard motors. And then this little bar, which has a function, but it also looks, uh, there's a lot of boats that have this kind of top decking kind of, uh, spoiler. So, not a whole lot to do in this set. Uh, you do have a little cockpit here. There's space for probably about two people. Some handles there to clip that little uh, gun in. A little steering wheel up front. You can get that off there. There's a little storage spot here. Um, there's some dynamite. Don't know why there's dynamite. Uh, probably has to do with the movie, but there's dynamite. Uh, but a nice little hiding spot there for something. And some more sticker detail right there. On your side and up top on the roof. And then the main function, if you can see, there's these missiles that are tucked away. You can't really see them like that though, which is nice. You can kind of see them from the front. But very, very cleverly, if you push down on this spoiler, It'll fire the left missile, the right missile. And they work pretty well. You can see how far it is. Let's see if I can get that. They work really well. I mean, they really go for it. And once you fire them, this handle is down. And I wish we had more flick fire gimmicks like this, because, I mean, these, ones go, these go pretty far. So, I really like how they did that. Very, very cool. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it's a little 195 piece set for 20 bucks and you get uh, some cool figures so can't really go wrong very nice solid set um, yeah nothing else really to say Iron Man Extremist Seaport Battle uh, it has War Machine that's all you need to know <laughs> if you want War Machine you get this set it's 20 bucks it's fun to build I really like this boat uh, they even put some sliders on it so you can slide it around the carpet and with it or whatever you do, but uh, War Machine figure is just the coolest. I love it. So I'm going to keep buying these minifigures as long as they make different versions. Hopefully they'll do an Iron Patriot um, as well as some other stuff. If you've seen the new trailer that just came out today as of March, I believe the day is the 5th. As of March the 5th, uh, you will know what I'm talking about. That's all I'm going to say. Look at the new Iron Man 3 trailer that just came out and you'll see what I mean. So yeah, very, very cool extremist seaport battle. Totally worth getting. Totally worth 20 bucks. Go pick it up. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll have uh, another review very soon. I already got my other set in, the Mansion Attack set. So that review is coming up very soon. Thanks for watching.